Eric, you have the floor, Chair. As the first step, we will remove even this year a substantial part of our stock for its downgrading to the low enriched uranium to be used by Ukrainian nuclear research facilities. The meaning of our voluntary step is crystal clear. Ukraine takes nuclear non-proliferation and disarmament seriously. We expect that our example will serve as a pattern for others. We are deeply convinced that you تشكل مجالا للاخذ والرد فان عدم التقدم في تنفيذ قرار 1995 والقاضي بجعل منطقه الشرق الاوسط منطقه خاليه من السلاح النووي واسلحه الدمار الشامل كافه امر غير مفهوم اذ ان عدم انضمام اسرائيل لمعاهده عدم الانتشار وبالتالي اخضاع منشاتها النوويه كامله لنظام الضمانات الشامله الخاص بالوكاله الدوليه للطاقه الذريه ليس فقط ينال من مصداقية المعاهدة ومن مضمون الالتزامات الدولية بل ويجعل من معاهدة عدم الانتشار مصدر عدم استقرار في الشرق الأوسط لقد رأينا أمثلة كثيرة من التحديات التي تواجه المعاهدة اليوم أن التمعن في هذه التحديات يدعو إلى وضع تدابير تهدف إلى تعزيز أهداف المعاهدة ومن هذه التدابير تعزيز نظام الضمانات للوكالة الدولية للطاقة الذرية حيث أن الهدف الرئيسي لهذا النظام هو منع الاستخدام غير السلمي للمواد النووية وتعزيز الثقة المتبادلة والشفافية كذلك سماح لجميع الدول الأطراف في معاهدة عدم الانتشار في ظل ظروف آمنة وبجود, وبجود الثقة المتبادلة وبممارسة حقها في تطوير استخدامات الطاقة النووية للأغراض السلمية دون تمييز The conference should renew its call to Israel as the only state of the region not yet a party to the treaty, to accede to it as a non-nuclear weapon state promptly and without conditions, and to place all of its nuclear facilities under comprehensive IEA safeguards. Nuclear weapon-free zones established in Africa and the South Pacific. I do believe that uh, in the end, it's up to the countries in the region to decide where to go and how to proceed towards full implementation of this resolution. But we, as members of P5 and jointly with the U.S., would definitely uh, ensure that uh, Israel is content with this. That is something that both Egyptians and others uh, among Arabs in the region are satisfied with. So it's a mid-course, is a common denominator that I hope would be acceptable for everyone there. You know, the problem, the, problem, the problem with this treaty is that uh, the previous administration withdrew it from the Senate uh, on the premises that had nothing to do, actually, with the contents of this agreement. It was, in essence, a politically motivated move. Uh, we do hope that this administration would reconsider and would eventually return this treaty for ratification in, in the Senate because I think it's a mutually beneficial treaty for one. Secondly, I believe uh, it really is something that expands and diversifies our bilateral agenda. And thirdly, it strengthens the mutual lead of US and Russia in this very important and sensitive area as, as we all see here at this conference. <laughs> 